How to best measure for a curb adapter. So what do you do when you have no model number and you need to replace the RTU? Time to measure. Micrometal offers a curb adapter worksheet that you can download from curbadapter.expert. This will allow you to collect as much detail as possible while on the rooftop. So let's start with the measurement of the outside perimeter of the curb. Measure from the top of the curb flange, take the long and short dimension, write the long dimension in X1 and the short dimension in Y1, and don't add to the dimensions. Micrometal's engineers will add an inch and a half overall to every curb adapter. Additionally, document onto the worksheet and label any wall or obstructions around each curb and show the distance. This includes gas and electrical lines coming up through the roof. Next, let's measure the return air opening. The return air section is located with the economizer section if one exists. In this case, we'll have to remove the air filter access door, outside air hood, and economizer panel cover. If this compartment contains an economizer, pull out the screws, disconnect all electrical connections, and remove the economizer. Measure the return air opening and document it. Set up the level as a plane and measure from the flange on the curb to the plane. Now, measure from the back of the return opening to the plane and subtract the first measurements. For the supply air opening, you'll usually find a small panel on the side of the RTU that will allow the access you need to make these measurements. Remove it, measure similar to the return air opening, and document. Select the supply air and return air orientation on the worksheet, A, B, C, or D. This is required to know how the curb adapter will be laid out. 